welcome back. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how we made the best little dinosaur party without breaking the bank, without spending tons of money. Um, we just had a lot of Pinterest ideas and then a lot of things from the Dollar Tree. So hi! The kids had a great time. I'm gonna link everything below to what we got off Amazon, which is what you're gonna be seeing for the es excavation site. I still can't say that. Um, we had these little eggs that had little dinosaurs in them so they were able to break those open and then the hats and miscellaneous decorations came from there. Everybody had a good time and I'm going to be sharing all of the details in this video. Dollar Tree definitely came in clutch. We love the Dollar Tree. So the Dollar Tree and Amazon is where a lot of these things came from. The things I made, I used materials from the Dollar Tree. So y'all follow along and I'll see y'all in my next video. I was gonna have to paint all of these. I was mad because they didn't have any black. And then Eva, come show us that paper. Okay, well there's some right here. The Dollar Tree sells this wrapping paper. It's in the kids like art section and um, school section it is actually stone see like a stone print hi hi this is gonna be so perfect for the entrance that we're making so <laughs> so i put three of these poster boards yeah. together and then i'm gonna cut out the entrance so that i can put it around the door mommy so, you only have my two yesterday oh wow wow I see it. Oh. We want to make these look like the entrance. I my and it goes like this. Yeah. So it's not just straight boards. Mm -mm. Y'all can hear me. I don't even know if you can hear me. But yeah, me. you'll see what I'm doing. That turned out perfect. So this is after I have cut out the poster boards and I wrapped it with that stone paper and it turned out so good. It is a flimsy, of course, because I use like the flimsy poster boards. Um, but I love this because I'm gonna even be able to save this for like Halloween and stuff when we have our Halloween parties because this is so cool for like a dungeon look or anything like that. But I'm about to finish the second one and then I'll show you what they look like. <laughs> Okay, let me just stop real quick because I did not feel myself doing this. I wanted to emphasize on the fire scones, I guess, that are on the entrance. This was just a piece of cardboard that I cut out into a triangle shape. And then I put a mixture of yellow, red, and orange tissue paper in there and just kind of balled it up and put it in there. Gave it this cool little fire effect. What kind of sound does he make? I always purchase these backdrops off of Amazon. They are great material, super sturdy, and you can use them for multiple events. I love to use them because they make a huge statement and they also tie together everything in this room just uh, for the theme and for the party in general. And when people walk in, it's really like a wow factor um, across these two windows right here. Okay, so before I cut these, I wanna show y'all. I got this pegboard from Lowe's. It is two by four and it was only about $8. And then I got these wooden dowels. They came in a pack of 12, I believe, from the Dollar Tree. And they do fit pretty well in there, but I'm going to cut them down. Um, they're 12 inches long, so I'm gonna get three out of each one and I'm gonna cut them into four inches each. And when I put them in here, look, you can see how it is, it's, it's good, but it's not good enough, but it does fit in there perfect. Um, I am gonna put just a little bit of hot glue around it to hold it all together. But this is gonna be our donut wall. So I'm about to paint it, and then it is going to be the Dino Donuts. Branch does not really care for cake, so I'm gonna do a donut wall instead. <laughs> We 
those were cupcakes. I didn't do anything fancy. I just did like a box cupcake recipe and I did chocolate frosting with Oreos. Uh, I put them in the blender to make them really fine and I just uh, sprinkled them all on top to make it kind of look like dirt and then I just put the dinosaurs on top of that. So it looks like they are running around in the dirt. Here's the setup that we had for the excavation site. So we did have a little table in the backyard and I got five 50 pound bags of play sand from Lowe's and they're only $5 each. So what I did was notch out a spot in the yard and I put all of the sand down and then I hid all of the little eggs in there for them to find. Um, if you can see right there, it's kind of like a clay egg and then it has a little goodie inside and they were all dinosaurs, just different little dinosaurs. And then right there on the table, if you can see I also did like gold Easter eggs and I filled them with some little goodies as well that kind of kept the bit kids busy for a long time that was their big activity and everybody loved it <laughs> <laughs> 